Hi everyone, it's Alicia with the Doherty Dozen and this is my morning routine where we'll prep breakfast and dinner for my 11 kids. But first, coffee. Okay, I prepped lunch in a separate video. I'll show that later. We're gonna make eggs for breakfast, pork roast for dinner. And then the day is done. Well, the meals, the meals for the day is done. You know what I mean. crack them. I gotta get the crack them out. It's literally called a crack them. Happy Thursday. We have actually a, a fairly quiet week. I've just been like catching up on laundry and house stuff before like holiday chaos is in full swing and sports are in full swing. I'm like, what is this feeling of calm? Not rushing around. we're making but one well it would be half of five dozen so what two and a half dozen seems to be the perfect amount for my family although we don't have mozzarella cheese tell me how I forgot to buy that so I'm gonna grab that tomorrow because we need it for the pizzas <clears throat> I forgot to buy a lot of random stuff. And we're out of a lot of random stuff. Like, I don't know. cheddar cheese. I don't know if that would taste good. I've never done scrambled eggs with cheddar cheese. I've always used mozzarella cheese. And I used up the rest of the shredded taco cheese on the nachos last night. I love nachos. I could live off of nachos. Like if I had to pick one food for the rest of my life, it would be nachos. What would you pick? It would be a hard toss up between nachos and pizza, but I'd go with nachos. Okay, we're gonna set this aside for a moment. What did I just step on? Celery. You ever step on something and you're like, that did not sound good. It's just celery. There's worse things. All right, we're gonna get some bacon going in the oven. I always say I'm gonna like get out the griddle and then it's just so much easier in the oven.
some long pieces of bacon. Have you guys bought your turkeys for Thanksgiving yet? I haven't really seen any good sales on them yet. So if you have, let me know. Sooner rather than later. All right, I've got my oven at four twenty. so weird that I already packed the lunches because I that was what I would normally do right now but I've been making these lunch packing videos for TikTok and um, yeah that's what's currently paying the bills so but I've been doing lunch videos lately but I still love my morning routine videos dry rub done first before my hands get messy. Alright, this is called Heavenly Harvest Pork Roast. It is from the Crockpot Crock Pot Cookbook. This was sent to us by one of our followers, Jerome Super. Thank you. I use it all the time. And the name is true. It is heavenly. So I don't have steak seasoning. We're going to use seasonal instead. Let's see. I am. Hold on. I got to do the math. I'm like majorly quadrupling this recipe. Yeah. Plus, plus some. More than quadrupling, but we'll go with quadruple for the rub. So we're gonna do a cup of sugar. of garlic salt. Tablespoon? Yeah, ta no. Tablespoon, yeah. Which would be, I'm doing a teaspoon. Oh, good grief. Let me see the, the conversion. So four 
tablespoons is a quarter cup. I love that conversion. Quarter cup plus some. Uh, a quarter cup of seasonal. Four teaspoons of salt. would be a tablespoon plus a teaspoon and we're just gonna do this and some black pepper and it's just stuff falling in my pantry that's normal around here I'm going to sneeze from the pepper. Nope. Okay. Just did that totally wrong. Oh well. tweak this recipe apparently. Two more giant pork loins. Okay, there's always a debate every time I make a roast. Do you put the juices in or not? I feel like half the people say put it in and half the people say don't. I don't know. juices are going in with this one. That's what happened. Okay. Let's do our dry rub. first. Now we're going to top it with pomegranate juice and then you also top it with orange slices and pear slices but um, I'm going to add those later otherwise they're just like totally withered. Does that make sense? And I like them sort of still I don't know not completely withered. All right pomegranate juice over that and we're going to cook it all day. So I'll probably add the orange slices and pear slices midday, early afternoon. But you could add them now if you want. I'm gonna start it at 350 and get our eggs cooking.
For lunch, they got homemade Lunchables, cheese, crackers, pepperoni, blueberries, celery, Buffalo Bill cereal, raisins, peanuts, pretzels, cookies. Anyways, I totally messed that up, but we're just gonna roll with it and hope for the best. I will link to the correct recipe in the comments. I did not sleep last night. Ever since the time change, I just like, I can't sleep. I'm up like every hour. No, actually it was before the time change because the same thing happened around Halloween. Yeah, it's been a couple weeks. I don't know what's going on. fake butter on our bagels. I don't know why the internet calls it fake butter. I grew up with this as butter. It's delicious. like it had bites out of it but it's a clean break I think it just broke like that although I would not put put it past my kids to just take a random bite of watermelon and put it back I have a meeting today. So. Oh, yeah. I, I don't 
like wearing ties with striped shirts. Because okay. it clashes, I feel like. <laughs> you look good. Do I look like the model from Coles? Yeah. <laughs> there is this model from Coles that looks just like Josh. Like every time we see it, it's crazy. I'll have to find them. Show you. Let's butter these, get the bacon out, bada bing, bada boom. We are done for the day. I'll make up some egg noodles to go with the pork tonight. The 
this is when my waitressing days come in handy because these are extremely hot, but you just learn to ignore it when you're a waitress and carry extremely hot plates to tables. Okay, I think we're good. Got them all buttered there. lunch, dinner, done. Thank you for spending time with me today. You are strong, you are beautiful, you are loved, you belong, and I'm so proud of you. I'll see you next time.